Okay, everyone, now we begin a new unit today, unit 10. So open your student book, Ventures 4, student book, the textbook, and go to page 122, page 122. So as I said, today we begin a new unit, unit 10. Uh, this unit is about free time. And we are going to do lesson A. We are going to work on listening. Okay. Go to your student book, page 122. So you see in your screen the first page of this unit, of this lesson, lesson A. And you see some pictures there. What do you see? Tell me a little bit. What do you think is happening in this picture? See picture number one and number three. What do they have in common? And what are the differences? Tell me a little bit. What do you see in common and what do you see? As different. And how about pictures number two and number four? What do you think they are? Okay, let's go to next page, page 123. Let's continue, okay? Let's see what these pictures are about. Okay, so we are now on page 123. We have exercise two, okay? Now, let's go, I'm gonna make it bigger here so you can take a look at what we are talking about. So key. So take a look at this at the top part, right, top right part uh, in your page here, unit goals. Compare celebration customs, read a recipe, and write about a favorite holiday. So now let's focus on listening. I'm going to play the audio, and as you listen, I want you to think about who are the speakers and what are they talking about, okay? Really focus on getting the main ideas, the big ideas, and the theme, the subject, what they are talking about, okay? And then we come back. Just listen to the audio and try to answer these two questions. Unit 10, free time. Page 123. Exercises 2A and 2B. Hi, Kathy. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, Thon, I'm glad you asked. I was invited to Bao and An's wedding. It's Saturday night, and I haven't bought them a gift yet. So? Well, I don't know what to get them. They aren't registered at any stores. Registered? What's that? Well... For many American weddings, the bride and groom sign up with a gift registry service at a store. They make a list of what they want, and then people can go to the store or the store's website and buy something on the couple's list. I've never heard of that custom. At a Vietnamese wedding, guests just bring cash in an envelope. Really? Yeah, and during the reception... The bride and groom walk from table to table, greet the guests, and collect the envelopes. If I were you, I would just take an envelope. Okay. Thanks for the advice. I guess customs are really different across cultures, aren't they? That's for sure. Do you know what really surprised me the first time I went to an American wedding? No. What? As the bride and groom were leaving the reception, the guests threw rice at them. 
What a waste of food. Where does that custom come from? Oh, that's a really old tradition. Rice is a symbol of fertility and longevity, so throwing rice represents the hope that the couple will have children and live a long life together. That's really interesting. Yeah. So, Thon, what else happens at a Vietnamese wedding? Well, for one thing, it's traditional for a Vietnamese bride to wear a red dress. Red? Not white like in this country? That's right. In our culture, red symbolizes good fortune. In fact, one of the traditional foods at a Vietnamese wedding is red sticky rice. Interesting. Let me ask you something else. My invitation was just for the wedding reception in the evening. What about the ceremony? Well, traditionally, the ceremony takes place at the bride's home, with just the family and close relatives. It's usually held in the morning. The reception in the evening is actually a huge party, with all the couple's friends and acquaintances, lots of dancing, and lots of food. Be prepared for a seven- or eight-course dinner. Wow! I guess I won't eat anything beforehand. So, will I see you at Bao and An's wedding? I wish I could go, but I have to go to my nephew's graduation party. I hope you have a great time. I hope so, too. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so we just finished listening to the exercise. It was an interesting exercise. So now tell me. Who are the speakers in this, in this audio? Let me put this here because we're going to use it again. So who are the speakers? Let me write it here. So for the question number one, who are the speakers? Do you remember? Kathy, yeah. Kathy is the girl talking and who are, who is the other yeah the name is complicated is is fan or tan yeah right they are the speakers now number 2 what are they talking about they're talking about wedding right wedding ceremonies And I'm gonna write it here and different customs or traditions, right? Depending on the country, right? Very good. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play the audio again. And I want you to complete this chart, letter B, complete this chart. American customs and Vietnamese customs. Listen to the audio again and complete this chart, okay? Unit 10, free time. Page 123, exercises 2A and 2B. Hi, Kathy. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, Thon, I'm glad you asked. I was invited to Bao and An's wedding. It's Saturday night, and I haven't bought them a gift yet. So? Well, I don't know what to get them. They aren't registered at any stores. Registered? What's that? Well, for many American weddings, the bride and groom sign up with a gift registry service at a store. They make a list of what they want, and then people can go to the store or the store's website and buy something on the couple's list. I've never heard of that custom. At a Vietnamese wedding, guests just bring cash in an envelope. Really? Yeah. And during the reception, the bride and groom walk from table to table, greet the guests, and collect the envelopes. If I were you, I would just take an envelope. Okay. Thanks for the advice. I guess customs are really different across cultures, aren't they? That's for sure. Do you know what really surprised me the first time I went to an American wedding? No. What? As the bride and groom were leaving the reception, 
The guests threw rice at them. What a waste of food. Where does that custom come from? Oh, that's a really old tradition. Rice is a symbol of fertility and longevity, so throwing rice represents the hope that the couple will have children and live a long life together. That's really interesting. Yeah. So, Thon, what else happens at a Vietnamese wedding? Well, for one thing, it's traditional for a Vietnamese bride to wear a red dress. Red? Not white like in this country? That's right. In our culture, red symbolizes good fortune. In fact, one of the traditional foods at a Vietnamese wedding is red sticky rice. Interesting. Let me ask you something else. My invitation was just for the wedding reception in the evening. What about the ceremony? Well, traditionally, the ceremony takes place at the bride's home, with just the family and close relatives. It's usually held in the morning. The reception in the evening is actually a huge party, with all the couple's friends and acquaintances, lots of dancing, and lots of food. Be prepared for a seven- or eight-course dinner. Wow! I guess I won't eat anything beforehand. So, will I see you at Bao and An's wedding? I wish I could go, but I have to go to my nephew's graduation party. I hope you have a great time. I hope so, too. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so now you heard the audio. And so let's talk about the different customs in regards to wedding ceremonies between American and Vietnamese uh, traditions or cultures, okay? So in an American tradition or according to American customs, gifts, you get them that you register in a store and you send the, the list of the gifts or the link of the website to the people who are invited to the wedding and they and then they buy it right okay so how about vietnamese customs how do people give gifts do you remember they give money in an envelope right or they give envelope with them with money inside yeah very good or cash right or yeah nowadays people have gift cards too right very good and they use rice isn't it interesting that both uh, cultures they use rice but in america they throw rice right they throw rice and how about in the in Vietnamese tradition culture? What do they do with rice? They eat red rice. Yeah, it's a custom. They eat red rice. Right? And how about the dress color? Uh, we are talking about the bride, right? The bride. So what is the dress color? In in America, usually it's white, right? How about it in, in Vietnam? They usually use red. Very good. Very good. Easy or difficult? Easy, right? Now, after we listen, well, let's take a look at other things here. Let's take a look here. Let's go down. So we have to complete the story with these words that we have here, okay? Uh, let me see, yeah. So let's, re let's pronounce the, the words and then let's complete together, okay? Acquaintances, acquaintances, bride, bride, courses, courses, customs, customs, Fortune, fortune, looking forward, looking forward, reception, reception, 
registered, registered, symbolizes, symbolizes, and tradition, tradition. So let's use these words to complete this story here. I'm going to read, and as I read, we are going to complete together, okay? Kathy and Than are talking about wedding customs. Kathy is invited to a Vietnamese wedding. And she is surprised that the bride and groom are not, are not what? Registered. They are not registered for gifts at any stores. In contrast, Than is surprised by the American, by the American, what? American tradition. American tradition of throwing rice at the bride and groom. Next, they talk about clothes. Tan says a Vietnamese, Vietnamese what? Vietnamese bride. A Vietnamese bride wears a red dress because the color red, color red what? Color red symbolizes, color red symbolizes good, good what, good, fortune. Then Kathy asks why she was invited only to the wedding, wedding what, wedding reception not the ceremony. Tan explains that traditionally, the ceremony is only for the family, the couple's friends and acquaintances. Are invited to the evening reception. In fact, Ten says the evening party will include seven or eight courses of food. Kathy says she is, she's what? Looking forward to the wedding. This story is pretty simple, not that difficult at all, right? Um, yeah, that's not, that was not a difficult story at all. Even the words that the exercise uses, it's not difficult. For example, fortune is the same as luck. Acquaintances is somebody you know, but it's not somebody close to you. You don't consider that person a friend. So it's just an acquaintance. You know the person, but you're not close or that close or, okay? And that's basically the most difficult words. Uh, so follow the audio now and read along with the audio. And then we go for a break, okay? But I'm going to play the audio. I just need you to look, uh, follow the the reading. Page 123, Exercise 3A. Kathy and Tan are talking about wedding customs. Kathy is invited to a Vietnamese wedding, and she is surprised that the bride and groom are not registered for gifts at any stores. In contrast, Tan is surprised by the American tradition of throwing rice at the bride and groom. Next, they talk about clothes. Tan says a Vietnamese bride wears a red dress because the color red symbolizes good fortune. 
Then Kathy asks why she was invited only to the wedding reception, not the ceremony. Tan explains that traditionally the ceremony is only for the family. The couple's friends and acquaintances are invited to the evening reception. In fact, Tan says the evening party will include seven or eight courses of food. Kathy says she is looking forward to the wedding. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Let's take a break and we come back for more ac uh, exercises and practice, okay? I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 